Yeah, like obviously you were thrown in there at the weekend. What was that like to be cast in there under those circumstances? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a good experience. Was, um, the pace of the game was a lot different to what I'm used to. Um, I said, hopefully I can uh, get a few weeks uh, training in me because I feel like I'm a little bit behind in terms of sharpness and and stuff like that. Obviously, because I haven't played for uh, for three weeks now, so just want to get a few good training sessions in me, and then I'll be ready to go. I think the manager James was saying that you know they're looking for all the new signs to hit the ground running. How quickly do you feel that can happen? Are you confident of being able to step up to that challenge soon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I can. Yeah. Um, like I said, I've had two two days training now and and if I have a few more days training training sharp and yeah I'll be ready to go. Tell us a bit about your thoughts on, on coming up here then and, and why you think Motherwell is a good fit for you at the moment. Uh, yeah, it was just basically like the players that have come up from um our level uh, well the National League level have come up here and done well. So that that was just the thinking of it. Um I was interested in moving up to Scotland anyway. It seems like a nice place and a bit of a change so so yeah, that, that was the main reason behind it. Um, I think guys like Louis Moult, obviously, and Marvin Johnson before him, I think these are guys you've come across before playing National League down so. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. I uh, played England League with Louis Moult and, um, and obviously played against Marvin when he was at Kidderminster. So, so yeah, like I said, it was those uh, um, those players have done really well here, so that, that was the main thinking behind it. Yeah, I mean, Marvin got a move, and then Louis still here, but he's getting a lot of credit for the, the goals he's scoring. Do you feel that you can, you know, use this platform as well to show what you can do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I can. Yeah. Um, like I said, I, uh, I want to um, get in the group and start feeling more comfortable around the lads, and the more I do that, the better I play. I think. Yeah, actually, because there's so many players from the league you just left. Here. Did you actually kind of watch them all the games to see how they get on? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. I was uh, obviously from the summer, I nearly joined in the summer, so I was always kept an eye on the results and how they were getting on. And um, yeah, seeing the results, I watched the Aberdeen game and some of the other games. So, oh, the Rangers game the week before. So, yeah, I kind of knew how the team played and, and that, so, so yeah. So, yeah, how close was it in the summer? Uh, yeah, it was, well, it was down on deadline day, really. Obviously, I was I live in Cheltenham, so it, <laughs> it was tough to get a flight up here in four hours. Uh, obviously, Marvin was touch and go whether he was going to go or not, so it was just on, over on that one, really. So you were just waiting to see at that stage, and it was just too late. Was that yeah, yeah, it was just too late. Yeah, it was. Um, I, I literally had three hours to get up to Glasgow, so it's never going to happen. Could have had a helicopter. No, <laughs> not that, not that important there. <laughs> <laughs> I think the managers perhaps never really replaced Marvin then like for like is that I, don't, I guess you're probably a different type of player but is yeah. that the, the thought you kind of direct left sided winger the way he was yeah yeah I've, obviously I'm a little bit different to uh, Marvin I, I haven't really um, didn't really see how he'd done here but I'm just a winger who likes just, just, just to cross it really so so yeah like I said it could be a replacement yeah do you feel like that could be a nice relationship with you guys like Ray Moll and Scott McDonald to Hopefully, waiting on the receiving end of those crosses. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's that's what I like to do. I just like to cross it all the time, and if not, I'll beat my man. There's obviously some big games coming up, so tight in the bottom half mm. of the table. Um, you looking to obviously you say you're looking to get up the speed, but you think you can do that from maybe come off the bench a couple of times and ready to go from there. Yeah, th yeah. Well, yeah, that's the plan really. Um, um, just get used to the used to the lads and. Um, used to how they play and how I play and and yeah, look, getting used to the level really. You mentioned there about the speed of the game being a bit quicker than you thought. Mm. That seems to be something that everyone says when they come up here. What are your thoughts on on that and how to deal with that sort of thing? Yeah, obviously it was a, it was a lot different. Um, but like I said, I I need a few days training with the lads and obviously the training is a little bit sharper than down south as well. So if I can have a, again a few days training and get a good. Uh, amount of minutes in me, I think I'll be ready to go.